Now, some of the things attached with these stories that are in the news are like disappearing messages, sealed sender, zero yeah. metadata storage. And yeah. some of those are some hot topics we were asking, what is that? <laughs> what does that mean? Right. So the way that this platform works originally, as I mentioned, it was designed to be a drop in replacement for text messaging. You need to send a text to somebody that text needs to be secure. You don't want anybody between you and where it's going to read it. So they created this axolotl uh, ratcheting encryption cipher, and mm -hmm. it is now currently the gold standard. It's been leased out to a bunch of other places. Wire uses it. I think, I think actually Facebook messenger started to use it at some point, but I don't know if they're still using it. Uh, so they like the signal, the, the company will, will lease out licenses to it. So now it's kind of bled out to other places. So the things you're talking about, are like disappearing messages, um, you know, sealed sender, that sort of stuff. It's levels of obfuscation that you can put onto your chat with someone. Like when you start a chat with somebody on signal, you have these options to say, um, these messages delete themselves after an hour or four hours or a day or a week or what have you. Um, and I think the, the, the sealed sender component may actually have been part of something else. Uh, that's not to my knowledge, a, a setting that you can change in signal. But the idea is that if you send a message, then the only people who can receive that message are people that you explicitly designate as recipients. And so it's like, like I said, the original use case scenario is that it was supposed to be a text message replacement application. And since then okay. it has gotten widely popular. And now there's signal for desktop, which is an electron app you can run on any platform. And it's, similar visually to what signal looks like on the phone but it's a desktop application you can use and you can sync it to your phone and you can sync your contacts and things like that and you can maintain um congruency between if you're having a discussion on your phone you, and you mm. have a signal desktop on your machine on your workstation synced already you can then put your phone down and switch to the desktop app and many like many other popular well-received chat applications discord mm -hmm. discord slack wire you mm -hmm. name it any of those, uh, you maintain continuity. So like you put your phone down, you sit down at your computer, you open up signal desktop and you're looking mm -hmm. at the same conversation and you, you don't miss a beat. If somebody puts a phone. And it does a handoff, you, does a handoff yeah. based on you as the recipient. Yes. And that's where okay. things start to get really interesting because now we're talking <laughs> about what's called linked devices. So your phone okay. was the original intended platform upon which signal was built. Like that was, it was mm -hmm. four phones. It got okay. so popular. People were like, I need to go faster. I need a real keyboard. I need more desktop real estate. Like this is things are getting interesting. So they made mm -hmm. signal desktop signal desktop binds to your phone 